Next, we travel to Wisconsin to see two U.S. government institutions built in the 19th century. Constructed by the Treasury Department, the Milwaukee Federal Building and U.S. Courthouse was completed in 1899 and has recently been restored. The Milwaukee National Soldiers Home, one of three authorized by Abraham Lincoln in March of 1865, is still an active Department of Veterans Affairs Center, but many of the original historic buildings on the 90-acre grounds are vacant. Our guide is Kathy Keene, a retired Wisconsin high school teacher who's organized history and architecture tours in Milwaukee for over 30 years. Ms. Keene was presented with the Preserve America History Teacher of the Year Award in 2004 by First Lady Laura Bush. One of the things I think is most interesting about trying to understand our past is to start obviously with the geography and uh, it's important to understand why is Milwaukee here at the edge of, the, of Lake Michigan uh, and how did it become uh, a place that was a center of so much activity and it really starts with the fact that Native Americans and then later generations found that where the three rivers come together and empty into the harbor of, uh, um, of Lake Michigan here we've got the start of what looks like a good um, enterprise. The Erie Canal opening in 1825 was an extremely important event not only for the East Coast and New York State but it was really important for the hinterlands because after 1825 then Hundreds of people could come down the Erie Canal, get on a, sh a lake boat, and start their travels to the west. And Milwaukee starts to open up. Uh, the first uh, land office opened in Green Bay in 1835. And of course, you might wonder why Green Bay, but if you're coming from the east and you're going to go through the Great Lakes, you'll hit Green Bay first in the northern part of the terrain, and then you could come down the coast. And from there, uh, the city started to develop pre-Civil War development. We have some houses that are left from pre-Civil War times that are still here. We're a relatively young city compared, though, to the people back east. And we were first a commercial center, and then we started becoming a manufacturing center. And we had the beer business started in as the thousands of German immigrants uh, came into the city. Uh, we had Irish population that came, too. Uh, in uh, less numbers than the German, uh, but the German flavor gave such a stamp to our city that it was known as the German Athens here in, on the edges of the Great Lake of Michigan. Uh, and then we had Polish immigrants come in and they had two pockets of, of uh, neighborhoods here on the near north side and then on the south side and the generations have come ever since. The African American population started to move in um, in small numbers after the Civil War, but many larger when the big migrations went to Chicago and then some came up to Milwaukee more after 1920. Uh, but the story continues today. Watch American Artifacts every Sunday at 8 a.m., 7 p.m., and 10 p.m. Eastern on C-SPAN 3.